years old as of September last. 81. 81. Gosh. I don't believe it. <laughs> I hope you don't believe it. I grew up in Appleton, Wisconsin, and I still live in Appleton, Wisconsin. Really? Left during World War II and married my husband. Now, understand, we've been married 63 years, so it's quite a long time. And uh, so my, our family was always first. And we have four wonderful children. When Tom, when our first child was only about two years old, I was taking some tailoring classes, and they hired me to be the teacher. So anyway, I taught for many years, and then I decided with our last child that I would stop working. And in the meantime, I met a woman from Minneapolis, Minnesota that was absolutely gorgeous, and she told me I'd be great in the cosmetic company. And I was so flattered, I guess I said yes, and I didn't have any idea what I was saying. And that was 31 years ago. And I'm still with the cosmetic company. Still with the cosmetic company? Mary Kay Cosmetics. When I started with my business, I did not have to work. I didn't start working because it was an, a need at all, because my husband's business was excellent in those days. The most difficult time of my life was during the Reagan administration when our, husband, when our company crashed. That was difficult. When the Japanese sent castings to our country, cheaper than they could be made here, we had a real tough time. Many, many foundries in our country went out of business. But we sold our big home, we struggled. Um, he didn't take an income, he paid all his men, he didn't take any income for about three or four years, and my little Mary Kay business kept us going. And I guess I always say I'm not an actress, but I think the most difficult time is when you were ready for tears and you had to be with your customers and act as though everything was great, you know. But those were difficult times. My husband had a terrible time. But we pulled out of it. Uh, what I love about what I do is that my time is my own. I run it out of my home. I have like a, I have one room that is totally like a, like a beauty shop. Um, I do all my work there, and many many people come into. I've, in fact, I've had so many people come into my life that have come into the company, even though they haven't stayed. You've touched them, and you've helped them, and. Uh, now, this isn't a really big deal, but it's helping them many times through difficult times. Yes, it is. My favorite part of this whole business, I'm really a better consultant than I am a director because I love working with the individual person. I, th I, think, um, I think one of the most wonderful things, one day I was in a restaurant and a girl came in and she said to me, Oh, you don't remember me. I wasn't in your unit, but I was an adoptee, and you changed my life. I think that's the biggest reward of working that I've had, that I've touched these women's lives, and I've helped them through difficult times, many times. Many times women go to work because their life is difficult. And, um, and I think from me they would get a reassurance I used to always say to them, build yourself, and then you will have something to offer life. And so it's very nice at this age that I can work when I want to, and I work less now, of course, than I don't, than I, than I, I I'm off more than I work in this, at this stage of my life. But I still get commissions, and I still, it's very, very nice. And what's so wonderful, at my age, people still take my advice. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs>